Okay, I hope this works. So you start with a slip knot. Okay, give yourself a tail for weaving in. Put your slip knot on your needle. And take your other needle. Okay. Insert from the bottom and the front through to the back. Wrap your yarn around and up. And then we take it and we move it in and out here. Pull up and slip on. And release. So this is a cast on. Uh, a knitting cast on. So now we have two. We do that again. Insert from the bottom right to left or if you're left-handed you would go left to right. Okay. Bring your yarn around the back to the front up and over. Bring it through in between the two that you have there. Your needle up and put that on your other needle and release. Okay, turn that again. In, through, up, around, and over, and through, and on. And I'm going to pause this. I'm going to get a darker yarn. Okay, so this is rainbow cotton yarn from Hobby or hobby, it is the 8-4 and 100% natural cotton. And it just gives the color number 86. And this is a 50 gram ball, which is 186 yards. Recommended knitting needles are 2.5 to 3.5 millimeter. Or US 2 to 4 and a crochet hook is 2.5 to 3.5 millimeter or US C to E or 2 to 4 okay so we have this and I am just using larger needles these are 6.5, just for demonstration purposes. Okay, so we make a slip knot. Okay, with the tail. Your tail can be a little shorter or longer, depends on what you like, what you're comfortable with for weaving in. Okay. Take your slip knot, stick it on your needle. Okay, and just pull it snug. Okay, insert from the front through the back, bottom to the top. Wrap your yarn around and up and over, and you want your and your yarn will be in between. Take your needle on the but that's on the bottom and pull it up through the top so that it's like this. Bring this. Normally in knitting you would cast this. You would remove this side but we are casting on so we are going to take this loop and put it on the other needle. So just put it on and you pull it, pull it snug. Okay so now we have two, two uh, stitches. We're going to Insert our needle in between the two stitches from the front through the back up coming up. We are doing from right to left. Okay, so you're it would make a cross. Bring your stitch your yarn under up and over. Take your bottom needle, bring it through to the front in between those two stitches. Bring this up and onto your your uh, your needle that you're 
keeping your stitches on. Pull it snug. We now have three. So we just repeat doing the same thing. From the front to the back, take your yarn around the bottom, up and over. Bring your needle in between your stitches, up and onto the new needle. And snug. Okay, so we're going to do that again. Front to back, under, make a cross, take your yarn, bring it around the back, up and over your bottom needle, take your bottom needle, bring it back down under and in between your two, two top stitches, pull through and put your, your loop over your needle. Okay, so now we have five. So we do that again, from the front to the back, bottom to the top, make your X, take your yarn around the bottom and up, take your bottom needle, bring it back up through the two top stitches, pull your loop through and place it on your needle. Okay. I'm just going to continue on. We're going to put, oops, my slips, my needle slipping. We're going to put approximately 25 stitches and I'll bring you back. Okay, so I've actually cast on 50 because this it, yarn, this cotton is quite thin, as you can see. Because with knitting, it's not like when you chain with the crochet and you have, um, it would be uh, wide enough with less stitches on for, for crocheting. But with knitting, you do need to put more stitches to get the width. So... I'm thinking this would be approximately what it looks like here, which is about five and a half inches wide. Normally when I make mine, I like them to be a little wider than my hand so that I can get a nice grip. All right, now. This, that was a cast on row. Now we are actually going to knit. And when you, what I didn't say is don't, when you cast on your stitches, don't pull your yarn too tight because otherwise it makes it harder to put your needle through. Okay, so just pull it so that it's snug. Okay, so we are going to do the same thing that we did for casting on, except we're not going to put the stitch back on the main needle. So we are going to insert from right to left if you're right handed. Okay, All right, bring your yarn around the bottom, up in between, and over the top. Insert your, ne your needle to the so you want to come out, you want to come out in between, and then we're going to pull, we're going to remove this stitch off our needle. Now we have needle on our stitch on both, both needles. We're going to do the same thing. Insert from the bottom so that you have a cross. Bring your yarn around. And bring your needle from the back to the front in between and pull off or slip off. Okay, insert yarn around, bring your needle back to front in between the stitches and slip that top one off. Okay, 
again from the front to the back make your cross bring your yarn down bottom around the bottom and up in between bring your back stitch through back needle in between the top two stitches so that that loop that you made with the yarn is on the, on the other needle slip that top one off okay same thing through around your yarn bring your needle from the back to the front in between the top two stitches and slip the top one off so now you have your stitches on both on your other needle okay we're going to do the same thing front to back make an x bring your yarn down around and up in between the two stitch two needles bring your, your bottom needle down and up through the top two stitches slip that one off okay front to back bring your yarn around so that your yarn is in between bring your bottom needle down and up and around through the top through these top two stitches and then to remove the top one okay and we just and then you keep doing that till you get all the stitches onto the other needle and I'll just pause and bring you back okay so I've actually had to go back because 50 stitches was too many so I now have 45 and we will see what that comes out like okay so now we're going to knit another row so we're going to do the same thing we're going to insert our, our empty needle in between the first two stitches so that you're going from front to back bottom to top I don't know if you can see that. Okay. Take your yarn, bring around the bottom, up around the top. In between, bring your needle in between those top two stitches. And remove, slip that top one off. Same thing, bottom, front to back. Make your X. Bring your yarn around the bottom, up to top. Bring your needle in between the two stitch tops. The two first stitches, slip that one off. Okay, insert your needle front to back, wrap your yarn, bring your needle back in between those two, bring, to the front, bring your needle to the front in between those two top stitches, slip it off. Same thing, front to back, wrap your yarn, bring your needle to the front. In between and slip off between wrap your yarn okay insert front to back make your X wrap your yarn and slip your bring your bottom needle to the front in between from top to bottom between the two stitches and then slip that one off Front to back, wrap your yarn, bring your needle back to the front, to the top, and slip that one off. In between, wrap your yarn. Okay, and we're going to continue until we finish the row.